good, eh? Tree mugs here. I wanted to just make a quick video talking about hitch cords and eye to eye split tails. So when I started climbing, I was using these uh, commercially spliced pre-made hitch cords. And these are great, they're convenient, but they're not adjustable. So you're not able to really dial in perfectly your hitch cord and your knot combination. So from there I moved just to uh, making my own. Just you, you get a piece of cordage and you get uh, you tie double fisherman's loops in either end and then you leave a long tail and then you have a lot of adjustability. You can make this longer or shorter and uh, just really get it dialed in perfect. So I wanted to just show you how I make my own eye to eye prussic cords. So for this project, I'm, you're going to need uh, some hitch cord. This is HRC. This is by far my favorite hitch cord out of all of them that I've used. You'll need a tailgate, a knife, some tape. Here I'm just using electrical tape and a pint. So you're going to start by tying a double fisherman's loop in your cordage and just tie it so it has a nice long tail. So if you tie a, tie a tail that's a good four to six inches, that'll give you a lot of adjustability later on. All right, so get that all tightened up, and then what you're gonna do is just draw it down to the size of, of a spliced eye, like that. Something that would just fit a carabiner. Okay, so I got the one side. Now, what I'm trying to do is figure out the length that I want. So it's easy to figure out the length between the, uh, the eyes. What's not so easy is to figure out how much cordage it takes to tie the loop with the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where the rope exits the double fisherman's with a piece of tape. I'm going to mark that like that, and then I'm just going to pull and untie it. Okay, so that's the length of cordage that I need on either end of my cord. Plus, I need the length through the middle. So, I'm going to match it. Uh, I'm going to match the length with this commercial one just to have a, a starting point. So, I'll start there start from behind the eye at the point that I marked. I'm just going to measure this out across to here and then I'm going to put another piece of tape. So the length between the two pieces of tape is going to be the length of the cord itself and then the rest is going to be for the double fisherman's and the tail. So if I match those two up and then bring this out. I'm going to tape it here and cut it. And that's how much cordage I will use to make this split tail. So I'll just tape it first and then cut through the tape. All right. So there is my cordage for my split tail. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to tie a double fisherman's in either end. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to remove the tape, both pieces of tape, because you don't need that on it. You don't want that on your finished product. Okay, so now I'll just tie double fisherman's loops on either end with long tails, like that. Tighten that one up and do the same on this side. Tighten that up. And there you have your split tail and let's let's compare that to the commercial one for length. So you can see 
mine ended up being just a little bit longer. The difference is mine is completely adjustable. I can, if I don't like the length that I ended up with between the eyes, I can just pull and untie my double fisherman's and retie it so I can make it longer or shorter. I can get it exactly the length of split tail that I'm after. So there you have it. That is making your own eye to eye split tails out of cordage. Until next time, tree mugs out. <laughs>